You are listening to Single Smart Female. This is us letting it all hang out about your love life, examining Steph's dating experiences, and answering your hot topic dating questions. Just you, Steph, and me. No topic is off limits and no filters involved. This is Jen. And I'm Steph. If you have a question about your love life that you would like us to answer, you can submit your question at singlesmartfemale.com. Welcome, Single Smart Female, to show 40. I am your host, as usual, Jen. And also, as usual, I am joined by my sometimes lovely, sometimes not (laughs) co-host, Steph. The more we do this, the less complimentary it gets. (laughs) Let's see what happens next week. I might be nice. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) with that said we have surprise surprise a listener question from miss san francisco treat no 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 miss san francisco treat (laughs) and she writes what to do after you sleep with him too soon for the three guys i liked two of them i slept with on the second date I dated them during different times. Also, if you feel suspicious because of social media that he's not honest, do you confront him or stay patient? Some background information on Miss San Francisco Treat. I'm a single mom to three girls. I have been successful in raising them as a single parent despite having my first at 16. The two oldest are now away in college and I have one daughter at home getting ready for college. In the past seven years, I can truly say I've met a lot of great guys. However, the ones I'm interested in, which have been three out of the hundreds I've dated, always seem to be a challenge. One lives in London, which distance didn't work for us. The other, a professor, I basically self-sabotaged by telling him I was dating other people and things never were the same again. And most recently, this weekend, I met someone I really clicked with. I found out he has a girlfriend. Or so I assumed based on her Facebook. Ooh, Jen, this makes this brings something up for me. I have a we'll we'll come back to it. I always preach that we write our own stories, and that's why I've been fortunate to meet such great men. It's just the ones I like, there's seem to be something that interferes. I get that the universe has my back and I am thankful. Not only are the guys I meet good, but they are also affluent, smart, and successful. There's a blockage in me that I just can't figure out. I know this is my story. I write and I'd like to change it. I have also tried to continue dating men I'm not attracted to to see if it would go anywhere and it usually doesn't. I'm getting really frustrated after seven years and just don't know what to do anymore. And what was her original question, Steph? What to do after you sleep with him too soon? There are a couple questions, actually. What do you do after you sleep with him too soon? If you feel suspicious of him because of social media, do you confront him on it or just stay patient? Okay. You said you had something you wanted to say. Okay. So the Facebook thing, that's what it was. There's actually a couple of things with that one. She she says that she met someone she really clicked with and found out he has a girlfriend or so she assumes based on her Facebook. So something that you have taught in the past is to ask, like straight up ask a man, are you in a relationship or is there someone who thinks that they're in a relationship with you or like an exclusive relationship with you? Which is a great question because a lot of times uh, a man can say, no, I'm not in an exclusive relationship and fully know that there is a woman out there who thinks that they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that question whatsoever. And it also brings up another point of why are we Facebook Facebook stalking? (laughs) Yeah, why are we Facebook stalking? (laughs) And and, and I I get the temptation of it, but I am a really big fan of, um, yes, definitely ask the question uh, that. Steph was talking about that's a really, really important question when you first meet somebody. 
But I'm also a big fan of not becoming social media friends right away. I, I know a lot of stuff happens on social media, but I also see social media really tearing at the fabric of getting to know people because it's a it's a false sense of of people and, exactly and it's being used for emotional manipulation in nefarious. many ways nefarious nefarious <laughs> nefarious endeavors <laughs> i've been wanting to use that word <sighs> oh anyways. i love that word that's the best word <laughs> nefarious yes Anyways, but yeah, you you bring up a very, very good point about the need to clarify with men, especially in the beginning. There is nothing wrong when you meet a man asking him, hey, are you in a relationship? Do you have a girlfriend? Or I don't go into, are you dating? Um, are you dating? Things like that. I just assume that a man is dating. I I, I don't go much beyond that because I, I don't want I don't think that it's necessary to disclose all that, but the the catch is is whether or not he's in a relationship or if somebody thinks that they're exclusively dating him and he's exclusive and reciprocating that. So whether that be is there somebody out there that thinks that they're in a relationship with you and you haven't clarified otherwise or your clarification didn't work with them. <laughs> so Which is a whole another situation oh, yes. that you don't necessarily want either. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because um there I hate to say it as much as I love you women, there are a lot of crazy women out there. And mm-hmm. I have seen lots of women step into situations with either the guy's not being super clear with that woman for whatever reason, or she's gone money boiling crazy and is going to ruin his life because he didn't reciprocate her love on her terms. And and then so that means that you are in the line of fire as well. So great question to ask and start with. And um, also, I'm, I also recommend this isn't specifically for this case, but if you step into one of those situations and you have a woman who texts you and starts harassing you, I would say goodbye to that guy <laughs> right then and there. Mm-hmm. That I don't have a ton of red flags, but that's a a, a really, yeah. really big one because women are not nice. Uh, I love you ladies, but when you have a guy in your sights and you are a little bit uh, or a lot insecure in these cases, they, they don't tend to be nice to other women coming into somebody's life. So I just, I, I don't recommend putting yourself in that situation and making yourself crazy and then getting texts from her all hours of the night of, I, I see you, I'm going to kill you. I hate, you know, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> He's mine. Just let her have him. Yeah. Just absolutely just... let her have him. Now let's go back to the, the <laughs> original question. Tell me stuff. You have a very excited look on your face. Well, no, no. Like I'm actually, I, I want to kind of discuss this because this is actually a tough question to answer the whole, like if you feel suspicious of somebody because of social media, do you confront them about it? Because number one, there is the issue of you stalking them on social media. That's an awkward conversation to have. Like, hey, uh, so I was looking at your Facebook and then I clicked on this girl on your Facebook and it looks like on her page, she thinks that you guys are together. So <laughs> what's that about? And and then he's like, okay, well, wow. Well, well, uh, and then what he actually hears <laughs> is wah, 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 wah. <laughs> She's stalking me. Wah, 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 wah. wah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So number one, I would just, just straight up avoid. And then, no, this is hard. I, I, I Shit. Don't I, friend each other yeah, on social media. Yeah. Avoid that. And, as unless much as it's possible. already there. Just don't friend each other. And if you need to, let's say it's somebody, you start dating somebody that you met on social media, mm-hmm. you can unfollow them <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Until you until said time or you can actually unfriend them and just and tell them he 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 might question it but you can say hey look i tend to when i'm dating somebody i tend to disconnect uh, on social media because i've had tons of friends and i heard tons tons of horror stories of how social media really can set people off in in the wrong direction romantically and i'm really interested in getting to know you the right way yeah, exactly. And now, so so with all this that has already happened, um, do you think she just straight up asks a question without acknowledging the fact that she's been... Well, personally, in Miss San Francisco Treat's case, I think there's something bigger going on here, a lot bigger. And it's not necessarily about this one guy that she meets. It's It's about her blocks, which she's 
confessed to. Yeah. She's confessed that her up that she has to love and dating and all that and that how tired she is of everything. I might actually recommend taking a short sabbatical mm -hmm. from dating and reconnecting with herself and see if there's something that she's been neglecting in her life that's about her because what women tend to do is she says she had, you know, these daughters that are prepping for college, that are in college, things like that. Women tend to focus all their attention on them and start to truly neglect who they are mm -hmm. as an individual. Single moms do that all the time. That is, single moms are notorious for that. Mm -hmm. They think there's something that's built into our society as well, that it's always just all about the children. And yes, there's a big part. When you have a child, there's a big part of your life you have to dedicate to them. But you are coming into an opportunity to really explore as your your children are older and moving on to really explore who you are as a woman, who you are. And that's who, of course, you should lead, lead with in dating. The whole mom part is always secondary to the woman part when it comes comes to dating. And I, as I listen to this question, that's what I'm starting to hear is that there's this exploration pro process that needs to know that you need not, I'm sorry, not, not that you need to know, but an exploration process that needs to happen for you to find out why things aren't working out romantically. In my expert opinion, when things aren't working out romantically, it's usually for one or two reasons. One, our technique is off. Okay. It's not, and we're not romantically broken. That's never the case. You're awesome the way you are in many ways, but your approach to dating might be very, very off. And the second piece is, is that that broken technique, not broken person, but broken technique is usually covering up feelings of inadequacy, feelings of needing to discover something else about yourself. Also, one of the reasons that Steph and I teach the class, The Courage Kit, is to help unravel those different patterns. And that is the only way I can't tell you exactly what it is you're covering up, but I know something's there. Something has to be exposed because you can tweak the way you approach dating. That's not, that's, that's actually, it might be uncomfortable at times, but it's super simple. It's super simple. It's something we do with women all the time. But the real question is, what are you covering up? What are you possibly hiding? Why do you feel incomplete? What's missing for you? Not necessarily love, not necessarily that, because love, as Rumi says, it's all around us. Your task is to seek and discover all the barriers that you have built against it. It's, it's already, already there. It's already, already there. <laughs> My English is phenomenal it's today. Great. It's phenomenal. The love is already around you, Miss San Francisco Treat. It's your job to start discovering why you've put barriers between you and love, okay? How you can use your dating experiences to tweak things and to learn from them and to grow from them and, and then start including or discovering or stepping into the different pieces of your life that you have been neglecting in reference to yourself. Yes. Yes. So, I, I mean, I agree with you wholeheartedly on that one and second question what to do after you slept with him too soon now this is an interesting question because there isn't a whole lot of elaboration on this other than the fact that you there were two separate times where you slept with the man on the second date but I, I don't see you saying I slept with him and I really wasn't ready or or in the opposite direction like I was all for that shit. I had a great time. But, you know, I've heard that the second date is a little early because it, it does make a difference. Honestly, there is no hard and fast rule about this. It's about how you feel. Yes, Steph, you you know this well. This is a really good point. It's about your sexual time frame. It's not about his. It's not about, oh, I slept with him too soon, so I scared him away. No, if you only slept with him too soon if it really wasn't right for you. You slept with them before you were really feeling ready to. And that doesn't mean that you have to be 100%. Let's go meditate on this for 30 days somewhere and, and open myself and my soul up to the experience to know that this is going to be the perfect outcome of sex, body, <laughs> mind, 
spirit all coming together to have this one enlightened moment. No, oh no, none of that bullshit. I mean, all some of that can be fun, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not about it having to be perfect, but you have to feel good about the experience and about the timing. And the only thing you really need to do that and refresh as, you know, what too soon, all that. All you need to do is if if the second date feels too soon for you, then wait. Don't mm-hmm. do the second date anymore. It's okay. I mean, nobody's gonna come by and slap you on the hand and go, uh uh-uh. uh. Right. And date foul. Party date foul. Here's the thing. Like, if you are operating from your truth with no that's another thing in order for it to work you don't want to have any sort of outcome hinged on the sexual experience that you're having if you do then it probably is too soon because if you have sex with somebody and then expect that you will now be in a relationship because you just had sex or if you will be devastated if they don't call you again, because like, you know, you go out to dinner with somebody and they don't call you again and you're bummed about it. OK, you move on. If you have sex with them and they don't call you again, are you going to be bummed about it, but be OK and move on? Or are you going to be devastated? If you're going to be devastated, then you probably had sex with him too soon. But he's not not calling you because you had sex too soon. It's something else. Your energy was off. It mm-hmm. wasn't like you were doing it for some wrong reason there. Look, I've done it both ways. I've Me I've too. had sex with somebody like right away and we managed to have a beautiful relationship. Mm-hmm. I've made people wait months and months and months. Actually, I had a boyfriend for a year and a half and we never slept together. Yep. And there's it's, no hard and fast rule. No, there really isn't. And no matter what different dating so, so-called so dating experts tell you um, all of that rules, bullshit, all that stuff. No, there's no hard and fast rule. The only rule that you need to follow is the one that feels really good to you and feels like good timing to you. And even if you screw that up a bit, you shouldn't punish yourself for it. Just allow yourself to enjoy your the experience as much as you can. But if you do keep finding yourself sleeping with people before you're really ready and you're not enjoying it at all, you do need to reconsider how long you're actually waiting to have sex yeah don't fool yourself into you know believing something that's not working for you exactly well, one more thing about that let's say you do feel like you slept with them too soon yeah 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 but with these guys i actually did sleep with them too soon and i want to recover from that okay just act normal. like what act normal yeah and just tell them like you know what i had a great time and damn, that shit was hot. But I, I think I I moved a little quicker than I was ready for. So I would love to continue to spend time with you. And I find you hot as hell. And you only really have to say that, though, if he's pressing you for sex again and say, you know what? Right. I, I know we had sex before. Otherwise, you don't even have to bring it up. Exactly. I know you, we had sex before and it was really hot and I really enjoyed it. But I, I also know myself. I tend to start investing in a, in the idea of a relationship once sex is involved. And since it looks like we're going to get to know each other better, I'd like to do that first and then resume sexual activity it yeah. as, as needed. <laughs> <laughs> as needed. Today's show is brought to you by thelovesickcure.com. Does your love life suck because you can't move on from the idea of him? Does every man you meet pale in comparison to the way he made you feel? It's okay, lady love. We 100% understand. Whether you'd like the opportunity to get him back or to completely move on, we know this only happens when you cure your lovesickness. Let us help you today at thelovesickcure.com. Hello again, single smart female. We're going to bring you a new segment today called the top five ways to know you had sex with him too soon. Now, full disclosure, when we say that you had sex with him too soon, we are talking about too soon for you, not for him. You want to start, Steph? I will start. Number five, although the sex was barely mediocre, you can't stop checking your phone the next day. Mm hmm. 
Number four, if your name for him is asshole, jerk, son of a bitch, you might have slept with him too soon. Number three, if you think that showing up where he is uninvited is a good idea after sleeping with him recently, then you might have had sex with him too soon. (laughs) Number two. Two. If your only way to get a hold of him is through social media, you might have slept with him too soon. And number one. The number one reason you might have slept with him too soon is if you are worried about pushing him away by having slept with him too soon. Okay, lover girl, it's time for the final thought on today's show. The only sexual time frame you need to honor is your own. Real men adore women with healthy sexual boundaries. This is Jen. And this is Steph. Don't forget to subscribe to our show in iTunes. And if you'd like to submit a question to us, come see us at singlesmartfemale.com. And if you just want to come play around and learn more about mantourage dating... Come see us at havehimyourway.com. Talk to you next time.